Well, we're pleased to have with us uh, winning coach Kevin. Your team always able to counter punch anytime North Carolina State tried to make a move. Congratulations. I know it's an important win for not only you, the program, but your seniors as well. Yeah. Um, r really happy for my guys. Um, the four seniors have put so much time, effort, and, and work into this program, and for them, uh, to be rewarded with a hard-fought win uh, just kind of validates everything that they've done, everything that they've, all the work they've put in, and just really proud of them. This time we'll take questions for our student athletes. Front row on the aisle here. Kadeen, Desi, you've been here three times. This is the first time you guys come out first as winners at the podium. What's this like for you? Start with Desi first. Uh, very excited about the win. Uh, I felt we were due for a win. Um, coach told us before the game, we're going, it's going to take all 40 minutes defensively to get a win. You know, we're going up against a, a tough North Carolina State team. And um, I think we, our mindset was very focused coming into this game. And um, we was able to just make it, make it, um, make runs down the stretch to end the game. Kadeem? Um, yeah, it means a lot. Um, our main focus, our main focus was staying focused. Um, I know it sounds funny, but um, I think the last two years that we came here, I think last year we were focused, but our freshman year, I mean our sophomore year, we weren't really that focused. You know, we came, we came off a, a Big East championship. So, you know, guys were kind of drained mentally. Last year we couldn't get over the hump. And I think this year um, guys came in focus, um, came in real business-like, and, you know, we're not done yet, and we're trying to keep it going. Right here, the laptop in the middle. There you go. Zach Brazil, your post. Kadeem, we talked yesterday, and you said you, you kind of felt responsible for last year. In those last eight minutes, you had 13 of your 26. Did you, was that on your mind at all today, you know, about how you didn't finish last year and you obviously did today? I don't think scoring was really on my mind that much. Um, I think it was just securing the ball. Um, and then I just took what the defense gave me and um, I, just happened, I just happened to get a um, couple buckets. But I think really securing the ball, that's, that's what really is on my mind. Got a follow up there? What, what does it feel like for you after? taking that loss so, so personally last year to, to w lead your team to a first tournament win in 14 years in pr for the program? I mean, it means a lot. Um, like I said, I, I think, like Desi said, we, we were due for one, um, and we just came in here focused, and, you know, we're trying to keep it going. Other questions for our student athletes in the front row here at the aisle? Desi, what was this game like for you uh, as far as, you know, you, you hadn't played a whole lot of minutes over the last month to come in and to, to have that kind of game? What was working for you and what was it like to do that? Uh, I just thank Coach a lot just for trusting me and just putting me on the floor. Um, he played me 20, 29 minutes a night. Um, he didn't believe in me in the Big East tournament because he wanted me to get more rest on my ankle. And even on seeing night, you know, he, he gave me as much time as I can. And I didn't want to go out with a loss, you know what I'm saying? So I just – Work with the doctors, got a lot of treatment while I was here, um, got rest, and um, I told Coach before the game, just trust me and believe in me, and that's what he did, and I just want to thank him for that, for putting me on the floor for that amount of time. Other questions? Back to you. Yeah, go ahead. For, for both guys, I mean, I'm sure you've thought about this for a long time, what it would mean to, to win a tournament game, and this it was kind of the only thing you guys really hadn't done at Seton Hall. Now that you've done it, what's, I mean, what's that feel like? Start with Desi. <laughs> I mean, it feels great, you know. I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm just so happy about getting this win. But uh, our, our next focus is Kansas, you know. Um, this was a tough, hard-nosed team that we just played, um, NC State. Um, coach said if we get past the first round, you know, anything else can happen. So um, that's our mindset going into the next game. Uh, we got to focus, watch film on a great Kansas team, and um, hope to keep winning games, you know, just keep knocking down teams. And that's, what our, that's our focus. Good evening. Um, yeah, I'm going to just piggyback over what Desi said. Um, we just got to stay focused. Um, I'm sure coach, all the coaches are going to have a great game playing for Kansas and um, just kind of rest up, watch film, and get ready for Saturday. <clears throat> uh, okay, back in there. Go right here. Yeah, standing up. Are we still with players? Yeah, okay. still players. Any other questions? Front row for the players here. Uh, for both of you guys, what uh, – when you're playing an 8-9 game, you probably have a pretty good assumption that you're going to get 
the number one seed in the next game. Have, have you given thought to that? I imagine you get to see Kansas a lot because they're all over television. So what are your, just your thoughts on playing Kansas? Desi? Yeah, it's, uh, it's funny because I, I watched them. Like, you know, I'm a fan of Kansas, you know, so – but now I'm not no more, um, just for this game. But, you know, I watch their games a lot. Their games come on TV a lot. And, you know, just, just going through the variety of games, that's the best game on TV. You know, they always going to give you a good game. So other than the other scouting report that the coach is going to give me, you know, I got a great scouting report on them myself because I've been scouting them myself all year, watching all their games. And that's a tough team. So going in there, just. You're doing scouting reports? Yeah, I've been doing scouting oh, in Kansas, geez, so I can tell you a little bit about it. So, But, yeah, I've been watching their game. A great team, great coach. And um, we just going – with a, fo um, a focused mindset to try to get a win. GD? Um, yeah, I, I watch Kansas a lot too, you know. I watched them a few times this year. You know, they got great guards, they got um, great bigs, so um, I'm sure coach is going to have a great game plan. I'm not I'm not bringing up a scouting report like this, so I'm just listening to the it's coaches. Good, it's always good to watch good teams. Good teams play, you can learn a lot from them, so you know, I've been watching them and hopefully we get a win. Any final questions for our student athletes? That's it. You have a question for the student athlete? Okay, uh, guys, we'll let you get back to the locker room. Seton Hall locker room is still open for another 15 minutes. Now we'll take questions for the head coach. Go ahead, sir. Dennis Dodd from CBSSports.com. Uh, just for, for those who wasn't there, what was the mindset after Desi hurt his ankle at Providence? Was there anger? How'd you get through that? You're missing a body. No, I, I you know, I think that's. The biggest difference from, and I said it all year, this year's team from last year's team was I, I really thought our freshmen were really starting to develop nice. And although not having Dez, it did hurt us. Um, I had a lot of confidence in Miles Kale that he'd be able to step up. And if you look at what he provided us over those five or six games, I think everyone kind of seeing what an unbelievable player Miles Kale is going to be. So um, this that late into the season, you, you really can't pout. You can't cry about it. you just got to have you know belief in your freshman and I and I have an unbelievable confidence in both Sandro and uh, Miles Kale. Front row on the right and then we'll go to the back here. Kevin it seems like a crucial juncture in the game was when Kadeem picked up his second foul you gave Aaron Gordon a long run and he didn't make any mistakes at all what can you say about what he did? Aaron Gordon played fantastic uh, he came in and I tell you what he did Jared better than anything he defended uh, and really was physical uh, with Johnson. And I thought his defense and his physicality really did a good job of kind of getting them a little bit off their heels. Uh, and then offensively, he just kind of, he's kind of done what he's done for us all year. He's, he was nice and steady, got us in our offense, uh, and played really well. Right behind you there, yeah. Uh, Zach Brazil, New York Post. Kevin, what does this just win mean for, for the program, for these kids who've, you know, they, they came at a time where no, not a lot of people wanted to come to your school, and, and now he, this was the one thing they didn't have on their resume. Now they got it. I mean. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> I, I was uh, watching TV with my wife last night, and I was thinking about uh, I'm Mr. Negative and she's Miss Positive, and I was thinking, you know, what am I going to say about, because I knew that question would come from you especially, <laughs> if we did lose, you know, about their legacy. Um, and these four kids and Isaiah, um, you know, have worked really hard. And I think the biggest thing that if we had lost, I was going to be disappointed about is that I, I always preach to these guys, you know, no matter what in life, if you work hard, you'll be rewarded. And I think the biggest thing is that these guys have worked really hard. They're not a lazy group. They I mean, we've practiced the best we've practiced the last four days after Butler. Uh, and it just – to that, for them to get rewarded for all their hard work, I think that was the biggest thing. Uh, and the most th that's what I'm feeling right now, is that it kind of validates everything that we've done, the fact that they've worked so hard for four years. Go back. Uh, yeah, we we'll go follow Zach's, up, and then we'll go next door. Yeah, yeah. Zach's going to ask a lot of questions. That's fine. Uh, Kevin, what did you see in Kadeen? I mean, you know, he, he took last year's loss really hard. He takes losses really hard, you know that. Um, for him to finish the game the way he did and handle that pressure and, and make so many big shots and free throws, it, it just seemed like he, he wasn't going to let last year repeat itself. No, and, and, and he's gotten a lot of unfair criticism throughout the year about not being a point guard, not being this. Uh, and all I've told him is that he's been an unbelievable leader. He's been an unbelievable point guard. 
He has sacrificed scoring at times. He's sacrificed the fact that he's got to guard the best defender, best offender. Uh, and I've seen over the last probably month uh, a young man growing into the position and a young man that's going to have a very bright future at that position. Okay, now thanks for your patience right there. Kevin Hubler, WSOU. You left or when Angel went to, when he fouled out, Mike Enzi got up off the bench, but you decided to go with Miles Kale. What was the decision-making process just for, behind just, that? Just for the fact that we were going to need free throw shooting. Uh, they're, they're fouling. They're going to press to have another ball handler. Uh, Desi, I can move Desi to the four defensively, and then I can move Ish to guard the pick and roll, which is probably our best, he's our best defender. So it wasn't anything besides just having another ball handler out there. Still have about four minutes left in this session. We'll go up to the front, then back. When, uh, like I asked the, uh, the players, when uh, Danny Klinkscale from WHB in Kansas City, uh, when you are playing an 8-9 game, obviously you have to focus on your game, but you, in, in all likelihood, <laughs> since it's never not happened, you're going to play that number one seed. Does that accelerate your ability to prepare for that second game a little bit better? I, I have not watched Kansas one bit. It's just not what I do. Um, I, I just don't think I'm smart enough to watch more than one team at, at a time, to be perfectly honest. With you. I know, obviously, I know Bill and uh, have unbelievable respect for his program and watch them play. So I know how they play. Um, but that's a, you know, this time of year, you kind of get in a bunker and you, you huddle down, and uh, we'll watch a lot of film and we'll watch a lot of film with the team tonight. We'll put our game plan together. But um, you, you know, you're going to play the one seed, and you know it's going to be a challenge uh, because the one seed's a one seed for a reason, and. Kansas is Kansas because uh, they're a phenomenal program with great players. You have a follow up? Go ahead. Uh, when you, what's the, you say you watch them. What's, what, describe the difference in when you're just sitting around watching a ball game and, and then when you're watching it as a I, coach I have, preparing for Yeah, I mean, I, I, when, I, when I watch them, I have unbelievable respect for the way they play offensively. Um, they are unselfish. The ball pops. Uh, I, I respect Bill because he doesn't play the same way every year. You know, he went small this year because uh, they spaced it out, and now all of a sudden there are a lot more pick and rolls. Years where he's had big guys, he's gone to a high-low offense um, where, you know, it's really hard to guard because they go high-low and they have big guys. So I think the biggest thing is that with Bill is that he's adapted to his personnel, and he's done it really well because obviously I think he's won, I don't know how many Big 12 championships, 14. Yeah, I don't have, it's like, I had, I had to take off my shoes to get to where he is. So, um, but I think that's the most thing I respect when I watch his teams, uh, the offensive pace that they play at, but it's not the, the same play every single time. He really adapts to his personnel, and he gets the most out of his personnel. One final question for the coach. I think that's if it. If not, that's it. See you tomorrow, coach. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Again, Seton Hall will be here tomorrow afternoon. Uh, Student-athletes at 220, and Coach Willard will be back here at 240.